Aloha, I'm Chris Berman, and coming up on ESPN, we'll be getting out to the polls Tuesday, but our votes for great football today in Week 10 of the NFL on ESPN. We've got two teams each hoping for a landslide victory here in this one. Cincinnati, Washington. This ought to be good. Victory. Well, the fans definitely look pumped up and ready for today's game. Hello, folks. I'm Dan Stevens, and greetings from Washington Field. Mr. Peter O'Keefe is with me, and partner, we have a treat in store for us. There are not many running backs like this. Absolutely, Dan. Clinton Portis is without a doubt one of the very best halfbacks in the NFL. He's built solid, and he is tough to knock down. There's not many guys on offense who give as much punishment as they receive, but he's among the few. Okay, we'll keep our eye on him as the game progresses, but first, the coin toss. I choose tails. 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 The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Hall boots the opening kickoff. Roberts fields it all the way back at the one. Tackled at the 26. Terrell Roberts got a very respectable return off that nice kickoff there, Dan. The Bengals offense takes the field and they will start at their own 26 yard line. Dan, bunch of receivers out there. Defense is expecting that and they go to nickel. Johnson goes in motion. Washington crushes him behind the line at the 24 yard line. Peter, unfortunately, we've had some players banged up so far. Unfortunately so. As we can see here, we've got the injuries that have accrued over the season, and let me tell you, each one of these guys was hard to lose. Injuries are a fact of life in the NFL. You have to push on and field the best team possible. Marcus Washington targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. They put a stop to this play behind the line of scrimmage. Pretty good call by the defensive coordinator. Agreed, Dan. They, they had it all locked up there. That will bring out second down. Wynn tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Ronaldo Wynn was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. He's got such a vice-like grip, Peter. It's got to be hard to break out of his grasp even when you're one of the uh, slipperier runner. Absolutely. Third down, 12 yards to go. Washington catches this one, and they get the first on third and long. Kelly Washington has a small crowd of defenders working him, and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't seem like that was bad at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. Kitna zings it to the right side, and it's tipped. Incomplete. Michael Barrow came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. That had potential for some yards, Peter, but the defense was on top of it and shut it down. Good denial there. Second down coming up. Takes the handoff and takes it upfield. Brought down at the 48. Chris Perry played smart and used his blockers to perfection on that last play. They move the ball, and that'll bring up third down. Third down, three wideouts in the game. Warwick goes in motion. Kitna zips it to the left sideline, and they can't connect. Incomplete. 
Peter Warwick had that one come right to him back there. You have to catch those passes, baby. That will bring up fourth down, and what a disappointment. That would have given them the first. You gotta make those plays when they come your way. Richardson gets ready to punt this away. Richardson gets the snap and punts it away. Morton back to it at the 11. Stopped at the 16. Chad Morton got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Redskins offense will start this drive at their own 16-yard line. the line and choose up about four on the play. Second down, tight end to the left. O'Neal makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Delta O'Neal couldn't have read that play any better if it was tattooed on the inside of his helmet. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. Brunel throws a booty to the right side, and they get the first on third and long. The 37. Come on, Payne. Someone in your I'm coming out. I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, I'm coming. Oh, okay. Oh, Rogers Beckett intercepts the football. Let's take another look. That is a stellar effort on the part of the D. He's got his own all locked up tight. He knows how the play is going to go down. And that gives him the chance to step in and make a play himself. You can't coach that. Boy, that was a heads-up play to come away with his first interception of the game. Yeah, you got to love D like that. The Bengals are going to try and capitalize on the interception. They'll start this drive at their 37-yard line. Pursues and makes the tackle back at the 35. Matt Bowen targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. And I'll tell you what, this looks like it wasn't that difficult to tackle, but he had his hands full. Yeah, looks can be deceiving, Dan. He really had to square himself perfectly to make that play. Washington snags the missile and is well past the markers for a first down. Kelly Washington has some company on this play, but he still makes the catch. That's good concentration and focus. It's worth another look. Oh, maybe they should have triple covered him there. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chain. Great execution. But look at those last year numbers there. That's great production. Perry takes it for his fifth carry and passes the line. Tackled at the 44. All right, what have you got? Okay. All right. Second down, just a single receiver on the field. Kelly pitches it in the flat and picks up maybe a yard. And as far as tackles go, this was a pretty good one. He had this one lined up from the get-go. Well, you kids at home, if you're thinking about playing D, pay attention. That's exactly what you want to do. Well, Dan, we got an empty backfield, five receivers, and the defense is in their dime. Let's watch. 
Kelly goes in motion. Kitna throws a bullet here. And it's complete at the 21. Brought down hard at the 16. That will bring up first down. John Kitna had no trouble zinging that one past the secondary. That was one heck of a throw. A beautiful pickup, Peter. Everyone on the offense is happy about that play. Definitely. Great call by the offensive coordinator. And it will be a first down. The 19. Face mask, mask number, number 63. 63. The Redskins stalled early last drive and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 19 yard line. Brunel fires this one over the middle and it's complete at the 24 and he's stopped right there. Mark Brunel threaded the ball back there to his man right past all that traffic. Good job. They move the ball and it will be second down. Second and three. Ball the <laughs> Portis will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Come on, Portis. Third and go forward, not backwards. Brunel dumps this one to the flat, and it's intercepted. Touchdown. Troy James intercepts the ball close to the end zone, so you know he's going for it. And he gets it. What a huge play for the defense as they put points on the board. Peter Hill had a touchdown to his stats, and he has to be very happy with that. You bet. Big play, my friend. Number, Number 17, 17 to attempt the extra point. point. Kyle, Kyle Richardson, Richardson holding. holding. Here's the point after, yeah, and point good. it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Graham booms a beauty here. Jacobs decides to take it out of the end zone. Stop at the 20. Taylor Jacobs took it out of the end zone, and while it may have been a little risky, he gets out close to the 20, so it all comes out in the wash on that play. The Redskins have turned the ball over the past two times out. They need to hold on to it as they start this drive at their own 20-yard line. Cole catches the ball over the middle and gets past the markers for a first down. Bernie's Cole faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. A well-designed play there, Peter, and they will move the chains. And let me tell you, Dan, hearing those chains move is one of the best sounds in the game for an offense. First down with the tight end, right. Brunel floats it to the right side, and the catch is made for a gain of a couple. Mark Brunel dissected the double coverage with a pass that was prettier than a stadium full of cheerleaders. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Look at the weak back. Look at the weak back. Gardner goes in motion. Black 18. Black 18. Hold. 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 H
outside and is well past the markers for a first down. Bernice Coles drew three men on the D, but is still able to make the catch. Way to find the hole, settle in, and make a great catch. Nice catch, Peter, and his stats reflect that. Definitely, Dan. He's now got 38 yards on four catches. Portis hits the ball on first down and heads out right. Tackled at the 46. Clinton Portis had some blocking help on that last one, but he was still left with nowhere to go. Peter, once he closes his grip around you, you are not going to get free, regardless of how evasive you are. Not with that strength. With those guns, he can probably juggle bowling balls, or wide receivers for that matter. Second down, two tight ends in the game. This pass will fall harmlessly to the ground, and it's incomplete. Brunel throws a beauty to the right side, and it's complete for a first down and a whole lot more. James Thrash faces down two defenders and comes away with the football. Oh, nice catch. Third and long, and they get the big play to convert. What do you think of that, Peter? I love it. That's what football is all about, making the big plays when you need to, and you can't coach that. No dice, and it falls incomplete. Rod Gardner had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Brunel throws a bullet, and it's intercepted. Brought down at the 25. <laughs> Terrell Roberts knows he doesn't have a shot at it unless he jumps for it. And man, he timed it perfectly. Could give his receivers a few tips about mid-air receptions. That's their third interception of the game. And Peter, the D is homing in on the passing game. Yeah, tough play. I love it. The Bengals had their last drive stall out at the end. We'll see if they can keep momentum throughout this one, which starts at their own 25-yard line. Springs makes a play on this and forces the incompletion. Sean Springs knocked that pass down, and he made sure the only one to touch the football was him. The defense stood up to that play and shuts down what would be a minimal gain anyway. It'll be second down. Perry will get the carry on second down and maybe picks up one on the play. And if we can back up a moment, that was a great play breaking up that pass attempt. And Dan, it's all in the genes, I guess. You know, I played against Sean Springs' pop in the early 80s, and he was a heck of a football player, too. Junior's made a pretty good name for himself, though, as a shutdown cornerback. Third down and five wide receivers take the field. Intercepted! John Kitna is feeling some pressure as he lets this one go which is why it zings right into the defender's reach. 
He wishes he had that one back. That's his second interception throw today, and he has looked ragged at some points, I'll tell you. Yeah, his timing's a little off. He needs to just settle it down. The Redskins have had real problems turning the ball over. They'll need to buck the trend on this drive, which starts at their 41-yard line. Brunel fires this one over the middle, and the reception is made past the markers for a first down. And that'll do it for quarter number one. The Bengals are out in front, seven to nothing. Three more quarters of me and my D in your face. Hey, hey, hey. Dance, dance, dance. Go. Single back. Single back. I got three. Portis picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up second down. Clinton Portis used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Second down, one man back. Coles goes in motion. Brunel zings it to the right side, and it's tipped incomplete. Mark Brunel has had difficulties, to say the least, and now he's second-guessing everything he's throwing. Terrible day. So far, he's struggled to get 100 yards and three interceptions. it away on the coverage incomplete fourth down coming up Terrell Roberts swatted that one away cleanly the receiver didn't have a prayer in getting that one well the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion that was a good call by the defensive coordinator oh, it sure was perfect D for that situation and it will bring up fourth down Tupa lines up for the punt Tupa takes the snap and punts it away the Bengals let it bounce out of bounds at the eight. Tom Tupa angles this one nicely and puts it out of bounds and away from any potential return inside the 10. That's a nice punt. The Bengals were intercepted last time out. We'll see what happens here. We'll start at their own nine-yard line. Farrell tackles in behind the line of scrimmage. Chris Perry just hasn't gotten into a groove and isn't finding running room anywhere. This has been tough, and he struggled to get four yards on seven carries. I'm locking you up, Chad. Washington goes in motion. Kitna throws this on a rope, and it's tipped incomplete. Marcus Washington came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. On second down, they try for the first, but it's played well by the defense. That will bring up third down. Nice pressure that time. It'll be first and goal. Oh, check out this replay, Dan. Watch the focus here. 
He's got it, and I must say that was some clever maneuvering to get into a position where he could pick it off. You can't coach instincts like that. And you know, with that interception, he's up to six on the year. He's not making it easy on any quarterback out there. Yeah, that's why you'll see balls go to the other side of the field. He, he's that good. The Redskins have an extremely short field ahead of them as they will start this drive at the five-yard line. Portis takes it for his fifth carry and gets the touchdown. Touchdown, Redskins. Gain on this baby. Look at him eat up the yardage here. Peter, that will put a touchdown in his stat column. And that's always nice to have, Dan. So far, he's got 12 yards and one touchdown. Now the point after, and it's good. the signal and we're set all rockets this one deep Watson decides to take it out of the end zone dragged down at the 17 either interesting order to the division isn't there oh you bet Kenny Watson thought he had some running room from the end zone, but gets planted before he gets to the 20. The Bengals have had some trouble moving the ball recently. We'll see what they do on this drive as they start at their own 17-yard line. Perry gets the handoff and searches for a hole. Brought down at the 18. Kitna watches it out left side and he connects for a pickup of four on the play. Chad Johnson had just one guy on him and makes the most of it. And he schooled that guy so bad, I can smell the chalk dust. That'll be his first catch of the game after being shut out the entire first quarter. This is a bit of a slow start for him. Yeah, it is, Dan, but he will see the ball more and more as the game goes on. Johnson goes in motion. Washington catches it left sideline and is at the 30. Eventually shoved out at the 36. First down. Fred Smoot makes the play here, but not fast enough. Check it out. He pushes him out, but past the marker. The defense just can't contain them in this third down situation and allow the first. You know, Dan, that's a gut check down. You can't let them run all over you like that. First down, both wide outs to the right. First down and maybe picks up one on the play. Chris Perry stuck close to his blockers, but the play folded quicker than an over-caffeinated origami artist. And boy, that was an excellent job of staying with his man, that time to make a good tackle. Yeah, it looked like the skate drill in practice. You keep your feet moving, zone in, and make the play. Perfectly done. Johnson goes in motion. Washington didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. Matt Bowen manhandled that receiver back there like a puppy playing with a chew toy, Dan. And he rightly got slapped with defensive pass interference. Kitna uncorks this to the left sideline, and the catch is made well past the markers for a first down. 
John Kitna gets this one past the secondary quite easily. I, I think the safeties were out of position on that one, Dan. Now that kind of accuracy is hard to cover, Dan. He knew where he wanted the ball to go, and that's where it went. That's the third time today he's hit a receiver way downfield. Well, his arm didn't come cheap for this team, so they might as well get their money's worth. First down from the on. Warwick goes in motion. Warwick grabs the fastball over the middle and is past the first with Dayline, and he's in for the touchdown. Peter Warwick on why he's such a valuable guy to have downfield. He makes the catch, but then cuts loose for plenty more. You can't coach that. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any on, daylight no. between him pass, and yeah. the end zone. Kyle Richardson holding. Now the point after, yeah, and yeah, point it's, it's good. good. Hey, way to go out there. Good job. Nice play. Nice play. There's the signal, and we're ready. Graham kicks this one away. Morton fields the kickoff at the wall. Breaks the tackle. Ground to a halt at the 26. Chad Morton was able to find some weak spots in the defense. Got a good run back off that kick. Thank you, thank you, thank you. No, no. Don't touch now. The Redskins offense takes the field and they will start out at their own 26 yard line. Coles goes in motion. Brunel zips it to the left sideline and it's off incomplete. Mark Brunel is really struggling out there today. As you can see by the numbers, it's all bad. Up to now, he's got 100 yards and three interceptions. I'm gonna sack you like Second a bag of chips, Brunel. Portis will get stopped at the line, and that brings up third down. Come on, Portis. You better go forward, not backward. Kim Herring just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers. But the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. And at the end of that play, Peter, it goes to show you what leverage and good positioning can do when it comes to making the tackle. Yeah, and you know, Dan, that's especially important when you're outmatched on strength. That's a good play there. Tupa takes the long snap and punts it away. <laughs> Stiff arms, tackle at the 39. Peter Warwick returned for a few there, but after that gigantic punt, it was like tearing a single page out of War and Peace. It doesn't make much of a dent. The Bengals will start this drive at their 39-yard line. Johnson goes in motion. Kitna fires this one over the middle and he's on target for a gain of five. Reggie Kelly was really getting crowded out there with three defenders, but he still made the catch. They move the ball and it will be second down. Takes his 10th carry of the game and gains about three yards. Okay, what's the plan? Okay, let's go. 
Chris Perry has been searching for a rhythm out there, Dan, and he's coming up short. It seems like his timing is way off. He's working hard, but only has nine yards on 10 carries. Third down with a split backfield. Rips him down in the backfield, and that takes them even farther away from the marker. Fourth down coming up. Richardson lines up for the punt. Richardson gets the ball and punts it away. Morton fields the punt at the 13. Stopped at the 25. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. How they turned the ball over leaps out at me, and you have to think that that could come back to haunt them. Turnovers are the most telling stat in the NFL. Chad Morton racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Redskins stalled early last drive, and we'll have to wait and see what happens here. They'll start at their own 25-yard line. Brunel throws a bullet here, and it's tipped incomplete. Kim Herring got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. Yeah, great read there. Second down, 10 yards to go. Cole grabs the rope right side and tries to get free. Finally stopped at the 37. It will be first down. Bernius Coles is head-to-head -head on this one with the pass coverage, and the ball is waiting for him downfield. That's a great catch. It's all about being in the right place at the right time, Dan. Perfect execution. Another short catch, and that's where they've been utilizing him today. Yeah, the short routes have been open, and he's been exploiting it. Coles goes in motion. It across the line and picks up a couple. Just barely past the markers for a first. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I'm bringing it. I'm bringing it. Yeah. Hold you. Vernius Coles has a small crowd of defenders working him, and yet still makes the catch. There's the catch, and there were three guys around him. They say bad things come in threes, but that didn't that seem like that, that was bad counter. at all. Maybe mildly annoying, but definitely not bad. I'm glad he finally nabbed one because he's had a string of missed catches before this. Yeah, his quarterback obviously didn't lose faith in him, though, Dan, because he's kept throwing it his way. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Portis goes right up the middle and gains about three yards. Second down, two tight ends in the game. Gardner catches the heater left sideline and is well past the markers for a first down. Mark Burnell throws right past the coverage and into his receiver's hands. Nice throw. Another short pass, and he likes that area of the field so far. And why not? He's had success there. Oh, 
Portis dodges this one way out right and rambles for about five. Portis gets the call again and passes the line. Tackled and the clock will continue to run. Brunel just rifles this one and the catch is made at the 11. Chase down at the five. It'll be first and goal. First down. Ninth play of the drive coming up. Portis chews up four yards, and that will bring up second down. Well, do you play run or throw the zone to disrupt the pass? You almost have to be bold right here. Portis gets the call again and gets in for the score. This is a nice run here. And when you watch the replay, Dan, check out his field vision. Great job of finding space. That was his second rushing touchdown of the day. Not a bad day at the office so far. That's typical production for him, Dan. He's that kind of player. Here's the extra point, and the extra it's... of beauty here. Watson downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Bengals offense takes the field with the clock at 30. Johnson goes in motion. Perry has his number called on first down and picks up a couple. Chris Perry has been battling the D, but the D is winning this one. Look at this. No real yards to speak of anyway. Tough game. He's only got seven yards on 12 carries. Perry gains five on the play and so that'll bring the first half of football to a close as the clubs head to the locker room all tied. And now let's send you to Chris Berman in our studios in Bristol for the ESPN Halftime Report. Boomer? Okay, Dana, we'll get back to you guys in a moment. Welcome, everybody, to the ESPN Halftime Show. I'm Chris Berman. The Redskins, therefore, find themselves in a tight ball game. Anything can happen in the second half. Let's get started on this one early in the first quarter. John Kitna would drop back and deliver a strike on this one. Redskins still in the first quarter. Rogers Beckett shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. The Bengals, after getting an interception, Sean Taylor would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Skins on D, Torrey James would come up with a huge play here as he was able to pick one off here, then had some clear sailing in front of him. Touchdown for the Bengals. Skins behind, seven to nothing. Terrell Roberts was in the right place at the right time as his interception was a possible momentum shifter. The Bengals end of the first quarter. Matt Bowen shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. 
The Bengals now early in the second quarter. Bengals up by seven. Sean Springs shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. Redskins now in the second quarter. Clinton Portis got the carry here and he was able to break through. A five yard touchdown for the Redskins. Game tied, seven all. Peter Warwick had to work to find an opening, but he was able to haul this one in. A 33 yard touchdown for the Bengals. The Skins answering right back. The Redskins in control at the two. Clinton Portis got the carry here and he comes through. A one yard touchdown for the Redskins. And that's where we'll leave this one. Skins are keeping it evened up. We're tied 14 all. It's time now for our Halftime Hero Award, which recognizes the most dominant player of the first half. Duh. This time there can be no question. Clinton Portis has played like a man possessed. And now let's return to the second half with Dan Stevens and Peter O'Keefe. Thanks, Chris. And today's game has been presented in ESPN Game Sound, designed and developed in collaboration with Dolby, the leader in surround sound technology. The Redskins get the ball first to start the second half, and they will have a chance to break the deadlock. It's all tied up here. Let's go down to the field. Graham kicks it off to begin the second half. We've got a quick update from ESPN's very own Susie Culver. Susie. Thank you, Dan. Head coach Joe Gibbs took a moment to speak with me and said they've got to avoid throwing any more interceptions. He thinks they need to establish a rhythm with some higher percentage passes and provide better pass protection for the quarterback. Expect a different look to the passing game in this half. Back to you, guys. Thanks, Susie. The Redskins' offense takes the field, and they will start out at their own 24-yard line. Brunel fires this one over the middle, and the ball is caught for a gain of seven on the play. Second and three. Ball Portis picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up third down. All right, Mark, come on, let's do it. We need a first down. Come on, Portis. You better go forward, not backwards. Brunel uncorks this to the left sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Torrey James got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. You know, as a team, they are batting down passes left and right. That is their sixth so far. Wow, great anticipation of the pass. Tupa lines up to punt after the three and out. Tupa takes the snap and punts it away. Warwick makes it at the 24. Tackled at the 30. Peter Warwick got pinned deep by a beauty of a kick there, and by the time he looked up, there was nowhere to go. The Bengals get their offense on the field and will start this drive at their own 30-yard line. up a yard on the play and that will bring up second down Chris Perry powered forward with the football thanks to some initial blocking problem was they couldn't keep that push going for very long he's not made much headway up the middle although it's not for lack of trying and that's for sure they can't get effective blocking there Perry gets the call on second down and only gets back to the line of scrimmage LeVar Arrington was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That's his third tackle of the game. Third down and four wideouts in the game. Kitna throws a heater and is complete at the 43. 
Hunted down at the 50. That will bring up first down. Kelly Washington made the catch back there, but I really like how he got yards after the catch. That's a great play. That's broken kind of a cold streak for him. The last two passes his way were incomplete. Yeah, let's see if he stays on track. Harry gets the ball. He searches for a hole. Drag down at the 48. Chris Perry had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Johnson goes in motion. Perry has his number called on second down and heads wide right. Finally stopped at the 15. First down. Dan, check out all the yards he snarfs up here. Yes, snarfs. That's an old football term. <laughs> Tell you what, though, this is a great play. What a play. A massive pickup and an obvious first down, Peter. They weren't thinking first down as much as they were thinking touchdown on that baby. First down from the shotgun. Stopped at the line, and that brings up second down. Chris Perry got some help on that one in the form of blocking, but he still couldn't make a play out of it. Perry takes his ninth carry of the game and chews up about four on the play. Washington goes in motion. Taylor makes a play on this one and forces the incompletion. It'll be fourth down. Sean Taylor got himself in prime position to bat away that football before the receiver even had a shot at it. That is their fourth batted ball. Let's get ahead Tell you, we've seen a number of good defensive plays from this squad. We sure have. We'll see if they can keep it up, though. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. They take the lead. Shane Graham puts in an easy short one. A clean kick, no worries. Number seven, kicking on the bank. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Graham rockets this one deep. Morton downs this in the end zone for a touchback. The Redskins offense takes the field and their running game has yet to get on track. We'll see if it happens here as they start at their own 20-yard line. Brunel puts his arm into this one and it's tipped. Incomplete. Mark Brunel has found limited success in the passing game so far, Dan. And he just can't seem to get into a rhythm out there. I'd say he's not very pleased with his performance. So far, he's got 164 yards and three interceptions. Second down, three wideouts in the game. Coles goes in motion. as well past the markers for a first down. Rod Gardner goes one-on-one -on, -one on this play and beats his man. He executed that pass pattern perfectly and made the catch. Nice reception. Nope, they could not cover him man-to-man. -man. He was one step ahead of the defense. Peter, I'm sure he's happy to bring that one in. The last three passes to him have all been in completion. He's struggling a bit there, but this may turn him around. Hey, 
Cortis picks up a yard on the play, and that will bring up second down. Clinton Portis played it smart on that last one by following his blockers, but hey, they were unable to open up any holes for him. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Coles grabs the bullet and has some room to run. Ten and touchdown. Touchdown, Redskins. Ernie is cold, all by his lonesome on this one. Danny takes full advantage of it, too. What happened to the coverage? Let's look. Well, that's an easy catch. My six-year-old could have caught that. That's his first touchdown of the day. And I think he's a guy you can count on to make those end zone catches. He sets a high standard for himself, and he usually meets it. As you can see, he's up over the century mark. <laughs> he came to play today. Here's the extra point, and the extra it's point good. good. <laughs> the ref gets the signal, and we're set. Paul rockets this one deep. Roberts decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 20. Well, Peter, some interesting information up on the screen. Oh, you bet. Well, there's the drive results, and the thing I want to talk about is how close this game is. When the score is like it is, one single mistake can change the whole game. They need to be careful here. Terrell Roberts got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. Takes it for his 20th carry and gains about three yards. Second down, one man down. Heads out right, brought down at the 28. Chris Perry stayed with his blockers on that last one, and it paid off big time. You know, Dan, it's always good to have a wingman or two. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Kitna throws a heater right sideline, and it's caught at the 34. Peter Warwick right heading for the oh. sideline so oh, fast, yeah, yeah. I think his mom must have paged him. <laughs> but at least he got past the markers before giving his mom a call. A big gain on third, and they will easily move the chain. Perfect call for the situation, Dan. No trouble in getting the first. blasts him back at the 33. LeVar Arrington targeted the ball carrier early and didn't even let him get back to the line of scrimmage. Peter, he's been lighting up the defensive side of the ball today and getting some nice numbers out of it. You bet. So far, he's got five tackles. Second down, 11 yards to go. Kitna fires this one over the middle and it's incomplete. Peter Warwick had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. That's two drops by one of the more sure-handed receivers in the game. Wow, it's not often you see him out of sync like this. This one will fall incomplete. It'll be fourth down. Walt Harris was with the receiver all the way back there on that deep corner route and interrupted the pass. Incomplete. Well, the D holds tight on third and long and forces an incompletion. That was a good call by the defensive coordinator. Oh, it sure was. Perfect D for that situation. And it will bring up fourth down. Richardson takes the long snap and punts it away. Martin fields the ball at the 25. Stopped at the 37. 
Chad Morton racked up a few yards on the run back there, whittling down the size of the punt a little bit. The Redskins will start a drive with the lead for the first time in this game. They'll begin at the 37-yard line. as well past the markers for a first down. Rod Gardner was getting double coverage there, but it wasn't enough to stop him from making a the catch. They've been having some real success by keeping him on the left side of the field, Peter. Yeah, and that's because of the great routes he's been running. up four yards and that brings up second down okay fellas we went over this all we can practice now we're going to get it this time and we're going to go just like it is we're going to execute and we're going to stay strong and we're going to get to the spots we need to okay fellas hey, hey, second hey, and six, six. Ball 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 ball. take them back take them back I got him right. Hey, yo, I got him right. I got him right. Portis launches this one left to center and runs into traffic. Backs him down back at the 43. John Thornton was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. That will be his fourth tackle so far. What do you think of his performance, Peter? Solid game, Dan. Really carrying his sizable weight out there. Gardner goes in motion. As you can see, he's up over 2,000 yards for the year and still moving. Whips him down in the backfield, and that will force a turnover on down. That's how we do it. That's how we do it. Terrell Roberts is here to play, I tell you. What a stop on fourth down. It's worth another look. Oh, huge tackle, huge play. Some brave play calling there going for the fake field goal. That's right, Dan, but it just doesn't work out. You know, I'm they don't give you, you points up, for Jay. trying. The Bengals offense takes the field, and can they capitalize on the defensive stop? Well, they'll start this drive at their 38-yard line. Hitna zigs it to the right side, and it falls incomplete. Reggie Kelly was open on that last one for short yardage, but came up with nothing. Incomplete pass. That's his first drop of the game, and while every drop does hurt, you can't throw too much blame on him for that one. That would have been a tough catch. Second down from the shotgun. Johnson goes in motion. Picks up a yard on the play, and that brings up third down. Wow, look at those tackles. That's how you play sideline to sideline. Unloads this one to the left, and it's complete at the 41. Finally dropped at the 22. That will bring up first down. John Kitna uncorks a dynamite pass there with two defenders on the prowl. Really incredible accuracy, but I'll tell you, that's got a sting if you're on the defense. Right, oh Dano. You know, they could have brought eight guys on that play. Wouldn't have made a difference. Nice pass, Peter, and he's really lighting up the stat sheet. Oh, you got it. So far, he's got 205 yards and one touchdown. Look at great receiving yards there. That will help your fantasy team. Kelly didn't haul that one in, and it falls incomplete. 
Reggie Kelly tried to snag that one across the middle, but doesn't happen. Potential for some nice yards, but it falls Mr. incomplete. Johnson, that will bring up second day. down. Second no down with the tight down. end right. and maybe picks up one on the play. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Redskins are out in front. 21 to 17. Things. He got in there and he smacked that pass away. Great D. They have really gotten after the ball as a team today. That is their fifth batted ball. Nice, aggressive D. Fourth down and the field goal unit is on the field. <laughs> Graham kicks from 38 yards out and, and he misses this one to the right. Shane Graham misses the field goal here. Let's watch this again. Yep, it's just a little bit to the side of the upright, but close only counts in horseshoes. The Redskins were stopped on fourth down last time out. We'll see what happens as they start this drive at their own 29-yard line. Portis chews up nine yards, and that brings up second down. Clinton Portis played it smart back there by following his blockers, and that allowed him to make some good yards. Peter, what a nice pickup to get them into a second and short situation. Yeah, great play, and now they have a bunch of options on what to try next. Portis barges off right guard and gets well past the markers for a first. Portis gains three yards, and that will bring up second down. What second down from the eye. Brunel throws a bullet to the flat, and it's complete at the 45. Tackled at the 50. Clinton Portis was wide open on that play, man. Makes you wonder what the D was doing. A decent play, and they'll now face third and short. That's the key, Dan. Make third down easy, and they did just that. Now they just need to convert. We'll see what they do. Gardner catches it left sideline and is at the 30. 10. He's in for the touchdown. Touchdown, Redskins. Rod Gardner is going to make the catch right there. But that's only the beginning. Look at him chew up the yardage. Wasn't supposed to be a touchdown pass, but he made it one with that terrific run after the catch. He fights for every inch he can get out there so you don't leave any daylight between him and the end zone. Now the point after, and it's good. There's the signal, and we're ready. Hall kicks this one away. 
Watson fields it all the way back at the two. Stop at the 24. Kenny Watson received that nice yeah, kick and a nice little run back after right, the catch. Cool. Good job. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Look, Dan, great receiving yards there. That will help your fantasy team. Kitna throws this on a rope, and it is not real in, incomplete. John Kitna might have had a completion there if his man had been open, but with two guys in the zone, it's way too risky. Not much success to be had on the right side for this passing game, Peter. They have been off over there. Yeah, I'd go somewhere else if I were them. Washington tackles him behind the line of scrimmage. Marcus Washington was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. He's now up to six tackles. Third down, empty backfield. Warwick goes in motion. Kitna unloads this to the right sideline, and it's tipped. Incomplete. That will bring up fourth down. Marcus Washington came in and got a hand on that football and left no chance for a reception there. A nice defensive play will give him his second batted ball of the game. A great read there. Richardson lines up to punt after the three and out. Richardson gets the snap and punts it away. Morton takes it at the 40. Drag down at the 48. Chad Morton got swarmed by the kicking team before he got very far. That nice punt pretty much goes unanswered. The Redskins offense takes the field and they are already halfway there. They'll start at their 48 yard line. Portis picks up about two, and that brings up second down. Second down, tight end to the left. Portis cruises out to the left side and hurdles his way to a first down. Clinton Portis just flies over the defense on this one. I didn't even see him take off. That was some big air he caught. What a hurdle. Another run up the gut, and we've seen him take more than his share of carries there. He's definitely had lanes to run through. Yes, yeah, superb blocking up front, too. Portis will get the carry on first down and choose up about four on the play. Linton Portis is taking it up the middle and battling that defense head on. And you know what, Dan? He's winning that battle. Look at the numbers here. So far, he's got 65 yards on 22 carries. Counter, counter, counter. Watch Second and six. Six. Double play, 30 yards. Portis picks up about two, and that will bring up third down. Clinton Portis used the blocking, but this stingy defense didn't give up much at all on that last play. Not a lot of room on that play. It will be third down. Third down, four yards to go. Coles goes in motion. Portis has his number called on third down and converts the third down. Chris Samuels used his size to his advantage by doing some key blocking on that last play. Nice play, and they will convert on third. Great execution, Dan. They did everything right. Single back. Single back. Check man. Check man. Back. 43. Hut, hut. <laughs> 
Portis picks up about two, and that will bring up second down. And this is nothing but read and react, Peter, which is what all defenders are taught. Great concentration to nab one shifty runner, stepping up and doing his job. Brunel throws a bullet to the flat, and the ball is caught at the 28, breaks free. Linton Portis made a fantastic catch in double coverage. Keep getting him the ball, guys. He reels in another one today. I wonder what they put in his oatmeal this morning. Probably the passing playbook. Third down, two wide outs on the field. Cartwright goes in motion. Portis gets the call on third down and barely picks up the first down. Portis will take the handoff and the heads left, brought down at the 18. Clinton Portis had blockers on his side on that last play, but the defense was too smart. It gave him nowhere to go. Not much there. It'll be second down. Got to take what you can get, Dan, but they were, you know, hoping for more. Carries it off right tackle and picks up a couple. Kevin Hardy with the tackle. Come on, D. No one is six. Dig in. Ball on the 16 yard line. Red Brook. Red Brook. Go back. Go back. Blue. Portis gains three yards, and that brings up fourth down. John Thornton just planted the ball carrier in the turf short of the markers, but the only thing that's going to grow there is the D's morale. He now has five tackles in the game. Fourth down, and the field goal unit is on the field. Hall from 30 yards out, and it's up through the goal post. Good. Tom Tupa handles this high snap perfectly. Sets up the ball. There's the kick, and it's good. Three points. For the first time today, they leave the red zone with only a field goal to show for. It. You know, overall, Dan, the defense has to be happy with how that one played out. The ref gets the signal, and we're set. Hall booms a beauty here. Watson decides to take it out of the end zone. Tackled at the 20. Kenny Watson got out close to the 20 on that one, so his decision to take it out of the end zone didn't really pay off, but it didn't really hurt him either. I'm the Bengals are down, but not out. They'll start this critical drive at their own 20-yard line. He's got the first down and a whole lot more. Palmer rifles it out left side and it's intercepted. Tackled at the 48. Ralph Brown does why you think twice before throwing a pass in his neighborhood. Watch. Great presence of mind to try for the football there. Yet another interception for this defense, and they're making passing just about impossible so far. Absolutely. Great reads, great jumps on the ball, great athletes. It's all happening down there. 
The Redskins are in control, but it's far from over. The offense comes out and will start this drive at their 48-yard line. Cordes has his number called on first down and rambles for about five. Second down, the clock is stopped at two minutes. Portis gets the toss and runs into traffic. Tackle. The Bengals take their first time up. First down, just a single receiver on the field. Portis hit. The Bengals will take a timeout. That's their second. Timeout. That's their final one. All right, Mark, come on. Let's do it. We need a first down. Come Third on, down, man. three wideouts in the game. Portis will lose a bunch here. And the clock will continue to run. That will bring up fourth down. John Thornton was a one-man wrecking crew back there. He powered into the backfield and made the tackle. Good defense that's forced two losses in a row. Better Tupa hope, gets hope, ready to punt this hope, away. Peter, Peter Ward to make the return. return. Tupa takes the long snap and punts it away. This will pin them deep as it flies out of bounds at the 10. Tom Tupa angles this one nicely and puts it out of bounds and away from any potential return inside the 10. That's a nice punt. The Bengals will start this drive deep in their own territory with the clock at 102. They couldn't connect on this one. Incomplete. Second down. The clock is stopped at 59. Palmer really rifles this pass, and this one is incomplete. Number 81 had that ball in his hands on that play, and then he just dropped it. Another incompletion, and they still can't get it done through the air. And now that we're in the fourth quarter, Peter, it doesn't look like things are going to change. No, it's a day to forget, that's for sure. Third down and four wideouts in the game. No good, incomplete. Fourth down coming up. Palmer throws a bullet and it's intercepted. Hey. 
That was perfect positioning back there to get the interception. Heck of a defensive play. That's his fourth interception of the year, Peter. He has to be happy with that. Yep, but he's always looking for more. Second and eleven. Hey, eighty-two. Ball 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 I got eight. Down. Set. Goal fifty-two. Goal fifty-two. All right, Redskins, come on, we need a first down. And that is going to do it for this one. The Redskins come out on top 31 to 17. For my partner, Peter O'Keefe, this is Dan Stevens saying goodbye until next time. All right, gang, great work as always. And with that, we welcome everybody back to the ESPN studios for our ESPN video games post-game show. I'm Chris Berman. The Redskins stepped it up for sure, putting up some good numbers. Let's get started in this one early in the third quarter. Chris Perry would get the carry here. Good blocking up front to help to spring him. That set up a 28-yard field goal. The Skins answer right back. Lavernius Coles came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 62-yard touchdown for the Redskins. Skins ahead by four. Mark Brunel would find his target on this one. The Bengals have it after a turnover on downs. Peter Warwick is going to find an opening in the secondary, and he'll exploit it here. Bengals back 21-17. Rod Gardner came up with a big play as he was able to pull this one in. A 50-yard touchdown for the Redskins. The Redskins move ahead by 11. After driving 39 yards on 11 plays, John Hall would come on and connect on the field goal try. Connect on the field goal. Bengals behind by 14. Ralph Brown would come up with a big play to kill a drive as he was able to step in front of a wayward pass for an INT. The Bengals have it again. Fred Smoot shows some great awareness here as he gets himself into position to pick this one off. And that's where we'll leave this one. Skins come away with a win, 31 to 17. Now let's check in with our player of the game. A guy who made one big time catch after another to help seal the win for his team. Rod Gardner is on hand with Susie Coleman. Susie? Thanks, Chris. You transcended the competition today, and you helped carry your team to a nice win. What gave you guys the edge today? Our defensive backs really got the job done today and providing good run support. Man, it was so big, it was huge. This was a really good game for them. Back to you, Chris. Thanks for tuning into ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports for 25 years and counting. I'm Chris Berman. We'll see you next time.